7, verse 14. And it reads, it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The law of the Lord is perfect. Where's the flaw in perfection? The law of the Lord is perfect. Let's see what happened when the father gave the law to the people. That's Hebrews 7 and 19. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, by the which we draw nigh unto God. Notice, the scripture did not say that there was something wrong with the law. It said the law didn't make things perfect. Now the question is why? The answer is in Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The scripture says, finding fault with them, meaning the most high found fault with the people, not the law. The problem was the people were not keeping the law. So he made a new covenant. But let's see if he actually changed or canceled the law. That's Hebrews 8, verse 8 again through 10. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. You see that? The Most High never changed the law. He only changed the way he presented it. He couldn't change it because we learned in Psalms 19 and 7 that it was already perfect. How do you change perfection? So instead of changing it, he took it off the stones and put it into the hearts of men because the most high desires true worship and not forced worship. When it was on the stones, they did it because they had to in order to live. But now we do it because we want to show him, the father, that we love him. There are a lot of people who say they love the father, but saying it and proving it is two different things. How can you prove that you love the Father? Let's go to the scriptures. 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. How do you prove you love the Father? You keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Here's the bottom line of it all. We can say that we love Christ all day, every day, but the way that Christ decides if you love him is written in the scriptures. John 14, 21. He that have my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Did you catch that? He that have my commandments and keepeth them. He it is that loveth me. That's what Christ said. So I hope you've got understanding out of this. I pray that you have. And until the next time, shalom. You can find it in the book of Hebrews, chapter 7.